Hey there, this is Dr. Evan Osar with Fitness Insider. Welcome to this edition. In the past three editions of Fitness Insider, we've been talking about developing neutral alignment for core control. We said that neutral alignment of the pelvis, which is a slight anterior pelvic tilt, helps us maintain the natural lordosis of the lumbar spine, and that's where the back is at its most protected position. Now, we want to teach people, our clients, how to control neutral alignment because a lot of our clients they get stuck in a posterior pelvic tilt from sitting all day long from doing abdominal exercises where they're bracing and pulling up on the pelvis or when they're over gripping the, the posterior hip complex and pulling the pelvis down and that's what really causes a lot of the facet and disc injuries of the low back and why a lot of our clients have low back tightness so one of our most important strategies is first teaching our clients where to where and how to establish neutral alignment of the pelvis and therefore the lumbar spine, and then teaching them how to breathe to help them control that position, and then teaching them how to control that position through functional positions. So we looked at a couple of those positions in the last few videos. So if you missed those, click on the link below to view, go back and view those videos. We had a couple of questions about those videos and about neutral alignment during some of our functional training patterns, like the cable chop pattern. So the goal of the cable chop pattern initially is to teach our clients how to achieve and maintain that neutral alignment of the pelvis and lumbar spine as they're going through the chop progression. Then we want to teach them how to move out of neutral but still maintaining optimal control. So let's talk about the cable chop pattern just a little bit. So what we want to do is maintain that thoracal pelvic canister alignment. So we want the alignment of the ribcage over top of the pelvis with a slight anterior pelvic tilt and a neutral lumbar curvature. So again, that is the most important thing to initially teach your clients how to achieve that in the upright position. So you go from the supine position to the upright position, teach them how to control and achieve that position. Now we're gonna teach them how to do a lateral weight shift because as we do our cable chop, we're gonna do a little bit of a lateral weight shift. So the next pattern we want our clients to master is be able to keep that TPC alignment, that neutral pelvic alignment, and do that lateral weight shift without losing control of their alignment. So whether we're going in the frontal plane or the sagittal plane, we wanna make sure that they keep that neutral alignment. So from the front, they're gonna align their TPC, keep that neutral pelvis alignment, and they're gonna shift side to side, keeping that alignment. So there's no change in the space between the ASIS and the bottom of the rib cage. So the rib cage feeds down into the pelvis and they shift over, laterally shift side to side without changing alignment. Then the cable chop comes into it as we go from our lateral shift and now we start to chop down from our shoulder towards our opposite knee. So shoulder towards our opposite knee. Shoulder towards the opposite knee. So that way we start challenging as the cable's pulling, the weight of the cable is pulling, challenging our ability, their ability to control their thoracal pelvic canister and maintain that neutral alignment against a resistance. And again, we can change the height, we can change the position of the body, we can add some rotation into it once the individual maintains optimal control. So I'm gonna go out to the gym floor and show you that pattern. And now stay tuned for an upcoming resource for those of you that wanna become that expert. Your general population clients need, want, and we'll seek out. This is Dr. Evan Osar, Fitness, with Fitness Insider. We'll catch you next time. Take care.